How come every time I bring up men doing the dishes, they always bring up money? I mean, what does that have to do with money? Well, does she work? I mean, you want me to do 50% of the chores when I'm home, does she bring in 50% of the income? What? So you're telling me if she worked full time like you do, you would just do 50% of the chores? I'm just saying that would be fair. That's BS, man. I'm calling B freaking S on that. You wouldn't just start doing 50% of the mutual chores all of a sudden because she's making money. I might. No, you wouldn't. Just think about what you're saying. You're saying the reason you're not doing mutual chores in your own house is because she hasn't earned it yet. You're saying her current contribution to the family, her work in this home, isn't valuable enough for you to wash your family's dishes after work or on the weekends. No, I'm saying if she doesn't go to work, then the home is her job. Oh, uh, okay, I see now. So you have your job and she has her job. Exactly. Okay, let me ask you a question. When you clock out, you are done with work. If her job is the home, when does she clock out? No, it's not like that because it's so much more spread out so it's easier. Yeah, so that's a little tough coming from someone who's never actually tried to run a home with small children. Listen, I'm on the side of your marriage. I love that you work hard and I want your wife to appreciate you in those areas. And there are a ton of men that do a lot around the house to contribute. There's also others of you that feel completely entitled. Oh please, who does the lawn and the gutters and shovels the snow and works on the cars in the house? Exactly, let's get to the real problem. We don't need to do all this fluff. We can just say exactly what you think. The dishes are beneath you. You already do enough. Just say it, those jobs aren't my problem. I do plenty. You're actually taking advantage of me by asking me to do those tasks. Go ahead and say it. I didn't say that. No, not with your words. You said it with your actions and your attitudes. This aura of superiority. Like your contributions hold so much more weight. Like you're the victim in all this. You claim to know what love is. You vowed to love, honor, and serve, but you only planned on doing that in the ways that you wanted to, not in the ways that she feels it. And you think she does all that for me? Stop making everything about you. At the end of the day, this isn't about the dishes. This is about the fact that providing for your family consists of infinitely more than just your paycheck. You contribute emotionally to this home. You contribute to the safety in this home, not just physically, but spiritually, emotionally, psychologically. You have a chance to be an example for your kids of what trust and teamwork and sacrifice and service look like in a partnership where there's love and selflessness and humility. Are you on that page with your wife? Do you both feel like that's true? I don't know. Because that's the only way this thing is ever going to work. And I don't care whether you agree with me or not. This is about you and your wife. You're both called to carry each other's burdens. I'm not saying she doesn't have work to do. I'm saying quit naming work as an example of you carrying her burden when you would do that regardless of whether you were married to her or not. If you feel unappreciated, if you feel neglected, speak up. Have a calm conversation as a team about which tasks are now going to be whose responsibility. It's that simple. And whatever chore you decide are mutual chores, beat her to it because you love her and you want her to feel served and valued. Marriage problem solved.